graph the absolute value function and state the domain and range. f of x equals absolute value of x minus 6 plus 3. To do so, let's start with a table. We can say, have our x's, f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 6 plus 3. And finally, my point, or the coordinate that would result. So if I start at 0, f of 0 would be the absolute value of 0 minus 6 plus 3. That would be negative 6. The absolute value would be positive 6. Positive 6 plus 3 would be 9. So I would have the coordinate 0, 9. If I chose x as 2, then f of 2 would equal the absolute value of 2 minus 6 plus 3. Let's see, 2 minus 6 is negative 4. The absolute value, that's positive 4 plus 3 would be 7. So I would have the coordinate 2, 7. And if I chose 4, f of 4 then would be the absolute value of 4 minus 6 plus 3. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 2 plus 3 is going to be 5. So I'd have the point 4, 5. And 6, f of 6 then, the absolute value of 6 minus 6 plus 3. 6 minus 6 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. So that'd be 3. So I'd have the coordinate 6, 3. And 8 f of 8 would be the absolute value of 8 minus 6 plus 3. 8 minus 6 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. So I have the coordinate 8, 5. Well, notice that it, looking at my y values, I'm kind of back to the 5. Let's go ahead and plot those points and see what we have. 0, 9. 2, 7, 4, 5, 6, 3, 8, 5, and if we chose 10, you'd see it be coming back up. So when I graph this, I get the absolute value the graph that results. Now I'm interested in figuring out what is my domain and range. If I think about the domain as the x values, and if I figure out which values would be along my x, my domain is from negative infinity to infinity. All x's would be included on this graph. When I look at my range, here I want to think about what y values. If I was to compress this, which y values would result? We can see that that would be 3 to infinity. 3 all the way up to infinity. So my domain is negative infinity to infinity. My range is 3 to infinity with a bracket there instead of a parentheses because it will contain that point itself.